hey, hey, hey. How many hays is that? Is that enough hays? <laughs> it has been a while since we have been on camera. And uh, it's been um, a crazy few months. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot has happened. And we're going to try to catch you up really, really quick because we do know that we have some incredibly awesome, probably the best people, the best audience out there. So we are in Baja right now yeah. and uh, we're in our clamshell, which is pretty cool. And you can see our Enduro Power Batteries, our sponsor for this awesome event that we're at. Yep, so we um, have been planning this Wander to Baja RV meetup for the past year and it is finally happening now. Um, we are doing it, it uh, we're in real time, it's February. Um, yeah. and it's happening it's it's crazy yeah how did we how did we get here <laughs> i i mean it's it's been a wild ride we left you and we're gonna we're gonna we do have a couple of other episodes that we're gonna drop um so you get more details there but we're gonna pick up where we know we left off um which is in arizona we just fixed our shower and we were headed south and then um well then we hit a big and then, yeah big, it was big like block. yeah crap hit the fan literally <laughs> so and uh, literally, we, there's literally crap. We don't have. We have three. I didn't fans. know what other saying to use. <laughs> okay, it wasn't literally. That's what came to my head. Okay, but yeah, it was like the bottom just fell out, and we didn't know what to do. We went for. We decided to have our annual teeth cleaning and to get it done in Mexico. We crossed the border from Yuma and Algodones. Um, if you don't know anything about that. Algodonas is a uh, border town that is basically created for people to come there to get dentist, dental, dental work, work done um, yep. and vision, um, but mostly dental work. Like it's just literally the three only reason blocks to go. of dentists, just hundreds of dentists. It's crazy. The whole town exists just for that. And so we decided to do that and we thought we were just going to go for basic cleanings and checkups. And then uh, turns out I needed $7,000 worth of dental work. $7,000 is a lot more, a lot, lot more than we had planned. In fact, that was pretty much our whole winter budget I, for... I mean, we worked our butts off this summer. Like worked our butts off to save ten thousand dollars and then it was gone in a day in a day yeah just like that and yeah. then we end up like holy crap that it was literally it's the most expensive day yeah. of our and lives period we didn't know what to do we thought you know rv life was going to end for us there because we literally had no more money <laughs> yeah and um so we quit filming we quit making any more videos we were going to do Anyways, a whole season leading up to this, and yeah. we didn't know what to do. So, we that happened. <laughs> not only did it not cost what we thought, uh, that it cost thousands and thousands of dollars more and took pretty much everything we had, um, we thought it was going to be a two-day stop and ended up taking almost an entire month where we got to camp and live in Yuma, which is a place I never <laughs> thought I would say. I would spend a month, uh, but it was a it was a good month. The, I guess the silver lining is we did get to go and do. Lindsay and I don't have a lot of family traditions uh, in our small little family here, but one of them is doing Christmas on our beach in Baja, and we got to do that. I got to paddle out and find our Christmas tree in the driftwood, and you set it up, and it looked nice. And yep, and we spent that on our favorite beach yep. in Baja. Um, I've just had a few weeks out there, but it was great. And then we're leading a caravan, yep. uh, our very first caravan. 30-day caravan. Um, we were wagon masters for another company because this is something that we thought we wanted to do ourselves and um, we were offered this position and we thought well it was a great idea to get our foot in the water or our feet in the water and test it out and see if we even liked it and uh, we loved it. It was a blast, <laughs> yep. So after Christmas we raced back before New Year's. We spent New Year's Eve with our friend in San Felipe with Lynn out on horses in Baja and that was that was a great night. And then the next day we're crossing the border back to the U.S. Got all the the stuff done that we needed to to go and pick up our first caravan, and that was where we were surprised with the the alignment that was more than the alignment. Just like the dental cleaning was more than the dental cleaning, we've been hit with these surprises. But what I think I was pleasantly surprised with was the next 30 days with this caravan was awesome. It was amazing, and we're gonna document because we had, we committed to two caravans this year, and so we're gonna we be have, going back up. We have another one coming up in just a couple of weeks, yeah. or less than that, because February is pretty short. Yeah. So it's coming up probably in a week and a half. In a week, we're headed. 
north and uh yeah and then we're gonna pick up the second caravan but it was really it was it was great to be able to share our passion for this place to be able to others. yeah to take people and let them meet and you teach know, them the right way to do things teach them the right here. way and to give them confidence and connect them with people that we connected with and organizations and and just do things that are you know why people come here to baja and again that's our passion is really to help people with that in the face of giving up we decided we couldn't give up we had to just figure out what's next and so that led to yeah. we also have some even bigger things in plan for this summer which i'm super excited about because it's literally it's going to be the Lindsay show it is <laughs> so and, all you think i, don't I know talk what's too much happen. <laughs> and tell jokes that aren't funny I'm but gone. basically what we worked all summer for and what we're doing these caravans for is for my trip this summer with my dad and we were going to we're going to be releasing that video shortly as well and yeah i hope that my story impacts you know as many lives that i can reach so i'm super excited about that and yeah we're <laughs> we're <tuned. laughs> running on empty but we have tremendous hope tremendous faith that we're doing what we're doing is what we're supposed to do god hasn't called us in any other direction in fact, there's been some little affirmations that we're still pursuing what's right. And we just have faith that we work hard. Um, you, we don't show you all the behind the scenes work that we do. Um, just putting on this event was a full-time job on top of all the other full-time jobs that we had in South Dakota and client work and running our business. I mean, it, it's just, we work hard and we know and we trust and we believe that the work that we're doing is building something bigger for the world and for people in the world. And I think that's Lindsay's story as we share. We'll be doing an announcement. We wanna release the last couple videos that have been kind of dragging. And then we wanted to get through our event this week and we'll go ahead and we'll release the uh, the, the plans. The teaser the, video. The very first, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll be right up, coming up in next week. One thing before we wrap this up and we're gonna wrap it up really quickly is Lindsay's trip is about something that's profound and deeply personal, not just to her, but we believe to millions of people across the United States. And we, through the caravan experience, through our meetup, just through life in general, if you've met us, if you haven't met us, you probably know us just from how we are on, on camera. We love people. And so this is going to be a community trip for us as well. And we want to go ahead and put it out there if you're watching this right now and you would like to spend time with us, to visit with us, to have us come and stay where you are, um, to go camp with us somewhere. We are going to be covering a lot of ground, not giving away all the details, but go ahead and leave us a comment or send us an email. Let us know where you are. And uh, again, we're, we're looking for places to stay right now. And we want to make sure if you are watching this video and you would like for us to come and, and you know, see what your life is like and share life, do life together, go ahead and let us know where you are and that you have the ability to have us come by or maybe there's a campground or something nearby. But in any regard, we are looking forward to meeting you. This is... Uh, and building a community. Yeah. We want to build a community. It's one thing we realized. All the stuff that happened to us was it took us into ourselves and we realized life is about more than looking in and saying woe is me and woe is us we're in this situation so many people are in a lot tougher situations and we're truly blessed to be able to continue to live this life and so we want to get out there in community and meet as many people as we possibly can because that's what life is about it's about relationships and uh that's what we want to experience. We want to experience more relationships with viewers like you. Go ahead and let us know where you are. Send us a, uh, leave a comment or send us an email if you want to direct connectly with us. Um, hello at calledtowander.com. And we will be looking forward to that email and putting a, a pen on the map. Because it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's stupid ambitious. Yeah. There's yeah. I've very... been, I've been like times where i've not slept at night because i'm like what am i what are we doing there's a strong like, likelihood I'm crazy. <laughs> we're not going to make it I'm for crazy. what we're trying to do mm -hmm. um and for any number of reasons but we're going to do it we're going to set out and at least we're going to try to do it and that's how our journey has been we tried to drive to alaska which we did and then we tried to turn around and drive to argentina which we tried and then a lot of things happened and here we are so we're going to give this shot our best shot so we are greatly appreciative that you've taken the time that you continue to deal with us and our erratic posting that's going to be streamlined we're going to be coming at you really fast over the next seven eight nine months as we get on to this big adventure so 
Thanks for being a part of our journey, part of our wander. And we hope to see you soon.